How good are your dance feet? Some of us are born with a natural sense of rhythm, others uh, flounder. A little L, a little R on your shoes if you learn to dance. Well, you're going to take part in this big event uh, this coming Saturday, the BBC's Big Dance World Record Attempt. Uh, if you want a bit of help on this, we've got an expert on the line here. He is Michael Thomas Michael Voss, professional dancer and choreographer. Well, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, Gavin. How are you? Uh, pretty good, actually. I have to say that I'm Mr. Two Left Feet. Are some people are some people born good dancers and some people learn it? How does that work? No, we're all born the same way, and then it's just down to experience, personal experience, and practice. Um, that's why some people are better dancers and others aren't. Uh, that's what I strongly believe in. I reckon that's probably true. So even somebody like me, you could teach to dance properly. Yes, even you, Gavin. Because <laughs> I've, um, you'd have to lead, of course, because uh, I've seen the program on TV, you know, the dance programs recently, there have been a few of them, and really yes. it is great to watch good dancers, and you kind of feel so graceful, so elegant, I wish I could do that. Mm. Yeah, I know. Um, it's very engaging, isn't it? And kind of you think, oh, how would I do in that situation? And um, yeah, it, it works really well. And I'm very proud and happy that the BBC is taking all these dance programs up. Um, dance needed a promotion, I think, in our days. Um, back in those days of MGM movies, you know, there were huge dance scenes in every single movie. And somehow we lost that tradition, unfortunately. Busby Barkley, Fred and Ginger. And all of those people who were real stars, weren't they? And uh, yes, dance yes, is fantastic. And Speaking of that, I've, I've seen, been to see Billy Elliot in London twice yeah, yeah. And, and loved both times. It's been it's such a fantastic show. It is. It, and it's, you know, it's based on a lot of real stories. It, like every second boy dancer probably had similar problems to cope with when they're young because you, you're looking for, you know, your who you are like ad identification and stuff and um, how to stand up against other groups like you know in Germany for example I'm German in Germany all boys you know are made to play football and if you're different you, you have an identity crisis did you have a bit of a problem learning to dance when you were young I mean did your parents kind of support you in that path or did they think that's unusual um, my parents didn't have a big say because I always have been strong-minded and very determined and they didn't really have a chance to <laughs> to say yes or no. But they obviously afterwards, after I achieved a few things, they became very, very proud. Um, very often it's just that a lot of parents don't understand or, or don't take it seriously what the children actually say and want. And I think that children very often really, really do know what they're talking about and what they want and what they don't want. And if adults just would ca listen carefully and um, take that seriously, I think a lot of people would be more happy because they could actually do what they want to do and realize their dreams. And Yeah, true. but there are always prejudices, aren't they? Uh, I would suppose oh, yeah. that some of your friends at school would have said, that's fantastic, you've got a real talent, and others might have said, whoa. Mm. But you see, you're not a fabulous dancer just by talent. You need technique and skill and training as well. So at first, nobody actually can see that you're a fabulous dancer. You become a fabulous dancer and, you know, you make that work for yourself. And, and a lot of people just, just don't believe it's going to happen to you. It's always the people in the little box or television, you know. It's always other people who become sex successful and stars. But... Um, you can start with yourself and just build yourself up and, you know, learn skills and, and become fabulous. Yeah, I have to say I love, you know, disco dancing I love, but uh, I can't yeah. do any proper steps. Wait. <laughs> love to. <laughs> there is um, DVDs out there you can <laughs> learn step by step, you know. Have you got any? I've actually choreographed one. Oh, right. Then I'm going to look out for that one. Probably buy it at HMV or somewhere like that, one of the big yes. shops or Amazon online. 70s disco dancing, especially for Gavin McCoy. Hey, that's me. 70s disco. <laughs> that's my era. Well, even with the white suit. Now, uh, this big dance on uh, Saturday, uh, you know, many of us might be trying to move rhythmically for the first time in years. <laughs> Anything we should think about? Mm, yeah, mind other people's space. Yep. <laughs> That's the one. Bring plenty of water, um, comfortable clothing, proper shoes, and if you're outside, sun protection. Um, apart from that, just enjoy yourself, um, practice, try to pick up the steps, and... Um, take part that's the main thing i can say yeah because the steps are on the website aren't they you can sort of follow it through and yes. uh, and they they're kept pretty simple so everyone will be able to pick them up got any uh, warm-up tips for us anything we could maybe stand up or sit down doing just so we don't strain a tendon or anything like that while we're launching into it because many of us are going to go into it big time absolutely um just breathe consciously 
and um, roll your head to loosen up the neck. Let's the do that. Back I'm curves, doing that now. Yeah, I, oh, I it's working. Thought so. Very good. <laughs> yeah. The hamstrings is very vulnerable if you try to do kicks or if you attempt to drop into a split. Um, drop into a split? Wait, I've seen crazy people do that in karaoke bar. You're joking. <laughs> Actually, in Billy Elliot, there's a guy in that uh, who plays uh, one of the minors, yeah. and this guy must weigh 30 stone English, and he drops into a split on stage, and the Very whole audience goes mad at this guy who looks as if he, he couldn't uh, do anything, but he does a fantastic little thing there. Hero of the show. That's what I'm saying. Everyone can do it. Everyone can dance. But did he get up afterwards? Yeah, he did. He just got <laughs> straight up, and this guy looks as if he had about 20 pints a night for most of his life. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, Thomas Michael, really nice to talk to you. I'm going to look out for that video, and I hope we can talk to you again in the near future. Great. Thank you, Gavin. Maybe when you're passing by here, you can call him one day and give us a little instruction, me and Anna. I will. And please make sure you turn up on Saturday. Okay. Listen, we will. Thank you very much. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye. Dankeschön, bitte. <laughs>